Okay, hello. This is just a test. So if no one here, if no one's here, that's totally fine. I don't mind at all. <laughs> um, come watch me play video games badly. Okay, new game. I'm playing New Umbrella. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I'm very ner I'm very nervous. <laughs> okay. So clearly there's a building on fire. This is a wonderful start to a video game. Last night, there was a massive explosion at the Citizens Alliance Research, Research Institute in Central Bunker District. Due to the explosion, most of the artificial rain tech files in the fixer manufacturing facilities are all gone. The government and the Association of Victims of Averse, Averse? Averse Crimes have announced that they need at least eight more weeks to resume the fixering project. For now, Ajax City, the last city waiting for the fixer-in, is to stay dry for a few more weeks. Okay. Is that me? Oh, beach. Yes, old man. Hey, are you dead? God, I wish sometimes. Oh, please help me. Ugh. Shush, an avid guy is coming. Oh, uh oh, who's that? Bald? Bald. Bald man. This is the dull pain Joel from Avic. I've just heard some. Ah, oh, look at the night sky. More beautiful than ever, isn't it? What's wrong with him? Is he injured? Is he from the ins- oh, oh, no, this is my son. He's got weak legs since he was a child. It's typical, don't worry. Do you need any help? No, everything's fine. I need some help. Hmm. Yes, you will ignore me and my dead body. Lucky me, you fit the profile. What does that mean? What profile? Where are you taking me? Oh, this is a nice room. <laughs> Oh, I do not look good. <laughs> hey, you're here. The doctor said your face got the most injuries, so he covered your whole face with bandages. You can take them off after a week, but he's not sure your face will be the same as it was before. Oh, that's good to know. Thank you so much. Ah. Uh, I'm Darcy, just an old timer who owns a secondhand shop nearby. And from this moment, you'll be my son, Bob. I'm Bob. I know you're just not an ordinary, ordinary fugitive, and Avac will keep track of you as you showed up right after the accident. What accident? The fire? So, after you get back on your feet, you should manage my store pretending you're my son. Free labor, eh? I get it. The store is on the B1 level of the Batapolis in... <laughs> and you! <laughs> and you! And you and me, Bob. Bob the seller. Can I sell it? Yes, I can. Man, get these bandages off of me. Okay. Oh, I can actually move. I thought this was just a pawns uh, uh, a pawn shop game, but. Maybe it's not that simple. Hello. Hey, you're new here, aren't you? You gotta pay a little fee to pass through here. What are you staring at? Looks like you really got new here falling for this crap. Beat it before I really make you pay. <gasps> Sir, please. Okay, goodbye. Do I go in here? Actually, oh, I can look up. I can not look down. Click. Interact. Interact. No? Okay, let's just move. Oh wait, is this supposed to be the elevator? No, I think I'm supposed to just go this way. Hug a city. <laughs> Maybe not. Can I jump? Oh no! When I'm so bad at video games, I don't know how to place. Um, I assume I have to go in here. 
Uh, is there any controls thing? Move left, move right, showcase calendar, shift to run, interact. I've been pressing E, but that didn't do anything. Open close, me, that's it. No, it's not. <laughs> Maybe here? Mm, oh, oh. Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. Okay. <laughs> okay, sure. Top, middle, bottom. Bottom, digital. Bottom. I wish to bottom or not. I guess I'm going to the top. There's more old people. I'd rather become a pixie if I should live in the shitty neighborhood forever. Oh yeah? Tell me more. Oh, I can click this. Interest 15 me due to Darcy. Oh. Okay. Oh, who are you? Hello. Would you like to talk to me? That's a no. That's absolutely a no. You would not like to talk to me. Uh, I can't get... Oh, it's the same thing, huh? Um, well, let's go to the top then. Hello. Darcy's son is back in town. That's me, right? I'm Bob. <gasps> Kitty! Oh my goodness, you're so cute. You're literally just a pixel shadow and I love you. This goes to the bus stop. Sh sim sim simric lofts. Simric lofts. Hmm. Okay. Move to Mindiso. By the way, why aren't you looking for a job? What for? Well, soon I'll get fixed in. Oh my god. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. What if AVAC is lying? Yeah. What if they pour out fixering tomorrow right away? I gotta admit, I don't completely understand everything. I wish Junok's side could be developed even by half of Slingsman's side. Where are we going? Don't rush, it's dangerous. Thank you for the warning. What's your purpose in Sing Sing Side today? To buy some flowers and clothes? To do hair too. I'm going to the second hand shop. Coming with me? Nah, I like to buy new ones. There's nothing wrong with second hand things. Sometimes they're a lot cheaper, and sometimes they're. Ugh, stupid young. Young Chi Choi. Oh no, I was too busy trying to read the name and didn't finish it. Interact with you. Office of Zhu Gong, the stabilizer of the Fair Tread Commission. Tread? I can't believe Avac is still leaving him to do this. Avac must start finding an antidote for Fixer. We want change! We must keep Ajax City safe from Fixer! Avac must stop surveilling citizens! Yeah, you tell them! You go! Support the Avac. Support the Avac. Donate for Zero Bear Society. Please donate a hundred. I don't have. Oh, yes, I do have a thousand. <laughs> Emotion mitigation treatment center. Move to lower floor. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be here. Move to gym. Oh, I'm so sorry. I was leaving. My son has vanished again. So sorry to make you waste your time. No, oh, it's okay, lady. I probably couldn't buy anything anyway. Darcy's? I've never seen that floaty around. Is this a uh, shop I'm supposed to run? Hi, I'm Hugh. People call me the Sphinx of Darcy's. And you are? You look much better now. Welcome to Darcy's, the secondhand shop. I've been running this place for more than 30 years. And as I told you, you are now my son, Bob who will inherit this store from me. This is why I picked you up from the beach. avac has been pester, uh, pestering me. 
her stirring. Okay. Yeah, after all that time, now they're looking for Bob. Oh, but Darcy, what if Bob comes back out of the blue? That is not gonna happen. It's been almost a decade since he left. By the way, this one here is Hugh. It's got a mouth on it, but it will help. It will be a uh, anyhow. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Now let's start discussing what you are going to do here. At here, you are going to both buy and sell things. And you must stay alert at all times. Every customer wants to get paid more. That's because this place is off the grid from the citizen discourse data radar. I did it so that I don't have to care about A back in here. There are side effects, just like Hugh said. Customers all get so cocky as soon as they get in here. Anyway, for today, I'll teach you how to negotiate price when buying things. That's where to start. When buying things, it's really important to find a balance. It has to be a price that the customer can accept and that can still make you a profit when resold. Okay, makes sense. So you can't just start yelling out prices. You have to appraise the item first. When it comes to appraising things, I use cards. Okay. Tutorial card one. Customers, oh sorry, I need to sniffle and I know that's not great, but I gotta, I gotta do it. I've been, um, it's freaking December, uh, no, December, oh my god, it's freaking uh, September, and I don't know why I have all these allergy symptoms, it's so bad. Anyway, tutorial, card one. Customers introduce their items with cards. Gray card, base information, base price, green card, detailed information, changes in price. So a cup is 29V, excuse me. If without a lack of fins or a long tongue, AA logo leather, minus 50 V? One of the Acings awaits original materials. Okay, so this is the base price, and then there'll be like, these will be like attributes that will probably give it like plus or minus value. I get it, I get it, I get it, okay. Oh, I forgot the blue cards. <laughs> okay, thanks for forgetting the blue cards. Tutorial card two, green cards include objective information. On the other hand, blue cards are close to opinions, just like how damaged, how popular, or how rare the item is. Popular item among all ages. It raises the price by 50%. Rare item, it raises the price by 25%. Sharing blue cards are like sharing your opinion, at which customers may protest or get mad. Card slot. To share a card with a customer, you must insert the card in the card slot. The combination of cards yields a price. You can use it as a guideline while bargaining. Okay. But don't worry too much about colors. For now, focus on the bargaining focus on bargaining the price based on the cards. Here, the gray card for this bag says bag. Bags are usually sold for 100 vanas. Let's say brand A is pretty high end, which means the price goes up by 200 vanas. Cowhide means adding an extra 50 vana to the price. And finally, the price went down by 20% as it is slightly damaged. Now you can start bargaining based on the price these cards have set. Can you see 280 vanas below the card slots? That's the guideline. You can suggest 280 vanas from the start if you want to go easy. But if you want to make a profit, you better cut it by at least one third. You think I can do math? This guy's out here thinking I can do math. Decide how much to offer. At first, offers less than 70% of the guideline. Make an offer. Use the calculator to set its buying price and press offer. Say yes or no to a customer's offer. To say yes, press accept. If no, insert new numbers and press offer. Okay, okay, okay. So since this is your first offer, you can be a little bolder. Use the calculator on your down right and try 150 V. 150. Offer. I'd like to call 150 bonus. Good, but mostly customers won't accept your first offer. Instead, they will make a counter offer like this. How about 240 V? 
Hmm, and then I would increase it. So how about 210? 210 is the best I can offer. Well, all right. I usually negotiate back and forth a few more times, but it's good for now. By the way, I didn't mention what you owe me. While well, fixing you, it took 500 manas, and I gave you 1,000 manas as seed money. So you owe me 1,500 manas. Pay me back the total amount at once after you make enough money. Okay, sir. Whatever you say. I'll take 15 mana per day as interest, so it's not a good strategy to leave your debt unpaid for long. And it's not just the debt you should make money for. If you don't save money, you won't be treated as a human being after you become a fixie. Hmm. Strictly speaking, they are not human beings. Anyway, to be treated in a fair way even after you get fixed, you have to join the fixie pension plan. I don't like these terms. <laughs> it's like be fixed? Like spayed or neutered? <laughs> oh, I forgot again the silly requirements. Just so we're clear, it's not because he's old. It's because there was more than one. As far as I remember, you join by paying 10,000 bonus, or was it 30,000? I'll let you know the details next time. Making some money is the first thing you should do anyway. And don't say anything you shouldn't when AVAC shows up. What does that mean? Just try not to get involved with them. Is it because I'm, I'm, I'm not actually Bob? Uh... Okay, bye! Can I put this up here? Dear citizens of Ajax City, good morning from the Association of Victims of Everest Crimes. They broadcast that in a manner every day. The Association will stay closer to you than ever until Fixer comes down again. Let's win victory in the war against greed together. Thank you. Oh my. Would you like to sell? Oh, you're new here, aren't you? Does Darcy have a problem in managing his part-time workers? The last guy was a nightmare, though. So how good are you? Do you know how to name prices? Well, I'll certainly try. This is Bob. He's some part-time kid. He's Darcy's second son. You're Darcy's son? Then Nari... Then is Nari your daughter? What? You're talking about Boo? This here's Buku's younger brother, Bob. How many kids does this guy have? And Bob never, never get intimidated by customers, right? I, yeah, I never. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, shit. Wow. My daughter gave this to my ex-husband who used to be her father. Used to be? Would you please figure it out by yourself? Okay, do you want me to figure this out or do you want me to listen to you? I see, I see, I see, I see. Do, should I, I don't know if I should listen to her or if I should make an offer. So one third less than the base price. A bitch, I can't do math. Um, Let's try 40. That's one third. How about 40 vanas? Yeah, all right. What, was that easy? You should get your heel repaired or something. He's fine. No, he's fine. He's fine. Leave him alone. Grr, me too. Please leave me in now, dear nosy customer. Yeah, you tell her. Here's a tip for stock management. Managing the inventory. All items you purchase go directly to the inventory. Items are listed here. Click each item to see its details. Okay. Let's open the inventory. It's the button on the center right with a small triangle on it. It's the button. Okay, calm down. This thing? Oh no, this thing. <laughs> And we just can't see what's inside here, so you have to place the items on the showcase to sell them. Okay. Displaying items. Display items to start selling. Display an item. Display an item. Drag out an item from the inventory. Set a selling price. Click the item. Use the calculator to sell. To set its selling price and offer. 
clear sold out. Sold items are marked sold. Click X to empty the space. Okay, easy enough. I would like to place you can go to the clicking on the button on the top left. This one. I recommend this trophy. I pray 60 special price 60. So, hmm, I bought it for 40 and it's appraised at 60. But could I sell it for more than 60 and would it sell? What if I did 60? <laughs> what if I did 65? Or wait, is this... This isn't, this is for offering. This is like, it automatically goes to 60. I get it, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, I get it. Good job. Are you having fun? I'm having a little bit of fun. She's so twisted. Whatever, there's one more to tell you, Bob. Reputational card one, wittiness of the wittiness of Darcy's. This card will give you more advantages if you keep recommending valuable items. It will make customers trust your recommendation and encourage them to make a purchase. It will be automatically created and generated special price when an item is put on the spot. It's an exceptional selling price for recommended items. Okay. The card wit wittiness of Darcy's is. So I own a cat, right? And the cat is making noise. And I don't know if I should go check on the cat. I think I should go check on the cat, but I this this game does not like pausing very much. Wait, what if I do this? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I don't have a uh, I don't have a be right back screen yet. Um, you're just gonna have to trust me, though. Be right back. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Let's continue. The cat was fine, by the way. <laughs> You're Darcy's son. Oh, I didn't have time to finish reading. Um, could you buy this off of me? Oh, what? <laughs> so, I got scratched while taking this. <laughs> I, was just, I was just checking on my cat. Oh, this game. This game's messed up. Actually, that's not bad, but if she's expecting 26, I should offer to lower. I'd like to call 24. What do you say to 25? I mean, might as well. Water yours. <laughs> Cute. Wait, wait, wait. I want to put it. Oh, someone. Did someone buy it? Oh, no. I think I didn't. Um. I think I didn't set it up properly. How do I. Is it. Is that just good enough to do that? doing it right because when I click this it doesn't save let me check this real quick sorry uh, open close hoverboard inventory you can press s for the showcase too
How does it stay? Oh, I do have to put in a value. Okay, special price. Yes, 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 yes. I am... I am definitely not stupid. I can definitely do this. You know what? 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 35. <laughs> okay. Now we can go back. Have you seen... No, I was studying abroad and just came back to find my friend. Then why are you here if not your friend's house? There's an issue. And I'm here to ask you to keep this for me. I have to look around for a place to stay, but it's so heavy and I'm afraid of Avac. Where'd you get a moon rock like this, by the way? And have you been carrying this around the whole time? Yeah, it almost pulled out my arms. Well, can I buy your arms? <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> it, just it just ignores it. <laughs> Sam, please wait for me and don't sell it. Okay. I'll do you a solid. I'll do you a solid. Floaties from other cities are so naive. You are kind of rude, dude. We gotta chill out. We gotta make money. I'm just browsing. Okay, dude. Hello and welcome to Ajak Ajak. We have two new stories coming right up. News time! Oh good, my TV at home is broken. What, you just gonna sit here and watch TV? First up, Abek has launched their investigation into the fire at the Citizens Alliance Research Institute. <gasps> the investigation is focused on finding if the fire was a mere unfortunate accident or an act of arson. <gasps> Sus. It's clearly arson. Everyone was just waiting for someone to act. Okay, dude. Whoever set that place on fire, I'm fully behind them. Okay, dude. Next up, Professor Young Chi Choi is staging a one-man protest against ABAC. He argues that the lack of clear standards for what are not averse crimes will cause huge confusion. He also claims Avec is interpreting the law however they please, leading to the incarceration of innocent citizens. I respect his courage, but don't you think he's all just talk? I mean, I don't know what the fuck is going on in this city, so your, your guess is as good as mine, dude. However, Avec countered that if we set clear-cut laws, many will find ways to circumvent them. The rules must be ambiguous and penalties must be harsh to make the citizens behave. Oh, I don't know about anything, man. That sounds n not working. I told Darcy to at least get some a decent TV. Citizens of Ajax City, the bunker of freedom is up opening its doors once again. Can this dude buy something? The bunker's opening again. It's gonna get loud around here. To let as many citizens as possible avoid fixering, we have lowered the entrance fee. The last time they said that, they changed the charge a hundred thousand bonus. Shh. Yeah. The new entrance fee is twenty-five thousand per citizen. Twenty-five thousand bonus. This is fantastic. I can hide from a fixer with twenty-five thousand. Of course, only pure floaties can enter the bunker. And that goes without saying. And ticket sales are scheduled to begin in five weeks. Until the day we meet, the Bunker of Freedom will be waiting for all of you. The Citizen Discord state is pretty quiet. Folks must be watching on, uh, on what they say because of payback. The data record is blocked in here, right? This is a once-in-a-lifetime chance. I won't need to stick to the silly fixie pension anymore. I don't know. I, I'm gonna be... Dude, I don't know what the heck's going I don't know what's going on. He's all excited. Apex's gonna catch up to him before that. Did he buy anything? Damn. Damn. Didn't you ask around for me, Bob? I wasn't listening to you, I'm sorry. Um, can you... I want to go to the bunker too, I don't want to be left with Fixie. What is going on? Everything going on? Yeah, it's going... I bought... Let me tell you what I bought. Datto. I got... A, uh... 
<laughs> I got a damaged cat bull and a trophy made out of plastic. That's a moon rock. Then maybe you can make some money by selling. No, I promised the lady I wouldn't sell it. Keep it for a few hours. Yeah, yeah. So you got it for free? Yeah, but she will come back in a few hours. If she's that stupid, uh, I mean, if she's in a situation to ask you that. I'm pretty sure that she's being chased by Avac. She won't make it then. Why don't you just give it to me? I was actually in need of money. Come on. No, you can't. I promised the lady. I can't go back on the promise. Fine, fine. His feelings like that, Bob. Yes, I can. I can and I will, and I did. Hello. Hi. I'll stop talking. You, you didn't even, you just said hi. <laughs> nice socks. It doesn't smell anything. I think that's we don't want to have a huge problem with your nose. Fairly damaged. Why are we buying fairly damaged socks? Listen, I only had two people come in here. 14B. How about I give you 9B? How about I give you 10B? Don't look so upset. It was only one Vana more. Yes, now I can sell socks. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Uh, 20. Yeah. Man, I'm the best. One friend of mine gave this to me, so I don't know much about it, but I hope you will. Give it to me. What is it? Blue bird doll. Finally, something of value. Fairly damaged. It doesn't look like it. It looks cute. 22B, okay. You gonna tell me anything about what you want for it? Then I'm gonna offer you 13. What? Oh, nice! <laughs> Thanks for the bird. Now I'm gonna sell the bird. <laughs> bird! Since we got it for so cheap, we'll put it at 22. Nice. <laughs> Hello. The trophy on the showcase. How much is it? It's 60 V. That's good. I'll take it. Thanks. Enjoy your trophy. Thanks for your patronage. Yes, it is safe. Of course. Hey, I'm a nice person, thank you. I wish you a great evening as well. Do I get nothing out of that? Okay, that's fine. I like just being a nice person. I like being a nice person is fine too. Hello. It's going good. Can't complain. I'd like to show you something. It's not very valuable, but nice. Haley Minsley, boy kidnapped, found safe. It roughly deserves, how about I give you seven? I, I think so, yeah, that's good. I gotta put the newspaper for sale that said the missing boy was, uh... Oh wait, I gotta put something new. Oh, I can't. Oh, yes I can. Okay. Close there. This, um... I'm gonna sell this for 15 because it's vintage. That's my word. Vintage. Your design is cute. Hello. My ass. What? <laughs> What? 
I, I think I, I think I missed something. You mean he's my fake uncle? Why would Bob leave Bluebird for a shithole like this in the first place? Hey, you. If you're dreaming about inheriting the store, you'd better shut it off right now. Because there's no seat for a bogus son like you. Okay. And this place is supposed to be mine once Grandpa passes away. Wow, what a fucking jerk. Now cut the crap and buy this cup. Why? Why am I buying things from you if you want to own this... Freaking please! Stop that joke! Do you think I'd sell my works to a place like this? Please, think before you open your mouth. Why don't you think before opening your mouth? Why is everybody so mean? 90? You've gotta be kidding me. It says 29 right here, man. Get out of here! Looks like someone needs a lesson. And let me make this one thing clear. If you ever ruin the soon-to-be-inherited Tenari store, I'll make you into a hue just like that thing. Nari, you're crossing the line. Anyway, once Grandpa finds out what a deadbeat you are, he'll handle it himself. Bruh, <laughs> what the heck? You have to stay strong, Bob. She even makes me want to run away sometimes. Breaking news from the Ajak Ajak. Nari! It's you! It's you! It's, <laughs> it's Nari! It's Nari! Uchu! Uchu! Fumin! Fumin! Thank you for the fall! <laughs> Everybody in this game is an asshole! <laughs> you don't need to avoid my eyes. I don't care if you're the one of the four missing. Even this thing's a jerk. This is this is you. I'd like to buy the ten-year-old newspaper over there. It's 15 Vanas. That's good, I'll take it. Enjoy your boy kidnap found safe newspaper, my dear friend. Thank you for your purchase. So how goes your first day here? You want Darcy? I was with him the whole time. Yeah, and he's still here with <laughs> What do you think I was gonna fucking die? <laughs> like what's going on? This is crazy. This is crazy. Fortunately, there's a man who can make fake IDs. He lives in the same pillow. Oh, how convenient! Let's go! Visit him after work since he's sleep. What, what, what am I talking about? Uh, it's like 11 p.m. I should stop streaming soon. You'll ask for 800. I have 800 vanas. Don't you worry. I can afford it. Don't you worry. What if our new Bob fails to get a fake ID? Well, the AVAC will come and take my fake son away. Oh. Oh. Is it closed? Yes, sorry. We are closed. And what about this gentleman here? That's my dad, dude. Illegal activity. I mean, I gotta tell you, I don't know what's going on in this game. <laughs> I just came for the pawn shop simulator. And they're like throwing like big words at me, things about getting fixed, and I'm like spayed and neutered, what the heck? But apparently there are things called fixies who are fixed. I don't know what the heck's going on. I just want to sell and buy shit. But now I I like yeah, big words too hard, way too hard. I I apparently showed up on this beach and now I have to have evade these AVAC guys and get a fake ID and this guy's like I will let you be my fake son but also make me money but also if you don't make me money I will let you, let, let you go to die and I'm like oh thank you sir sunny in the morning but rainy in the afternoon 
And as you know, no umbrellas are allowed. It's the name of the game. That's the name of the game. If you get to miss me, dear, deadly, deadly. Have a dream of me tonight, totally. Oh, here I am back at the uh, Krusty Krab. <laughs> my hair, what? If you want to know the future, ask my hair. Oh, also my face is like completely bandaged, so that's cool. Daddy, do I have to get the treatment? If you take it like a big boy, I'll buy you a gift. <laughs> I don't like that stabilizer, man. Shush. Never say that on the street. I'm this dude. I'm this dude because I don't know what's going on. Stability office. Uh, really? Oh, no. I'll have to fix it later. That's what this, uh... Is the chat even... Chat box. Huh, I wonder what's wrong with it. Chat box, why isn't it working? That's so sad. Hmm. But I want it to be fancy and for it to show a little bit. It fades out after a couple seconds. Oh. Visual settings. Oh my gosh, I'm so new to this. Font settings, chatter. Source. Rut row shaggy. <laughs> What I should probably do is get some custom code for it. I guess for now we're just gonna have to deal with a- Oh! Wait! Maybe that'll fix it. I don't know if that'll actually fix it, but we'll see. <laughs> oh, what a mess. Oh! I didn't have to go through the, uh... This used to be a cutscene that I had to go through. I'm glad I don't have to see it every single time. Okay, so the guy I'm looking for lives in the same building as me and will give me a fake ID. Middle? You will just have to keep talking, except it's still not showing up, why? Could it be? Could it be? It's right there. <gasps> oh, oh, yeah, but. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna have to change the, <laughs> the dimensions of it. Height, uh. That's not gonna look the greatest, but it'll uh, it'll do for now, I guess. Fumin has rights. Fumin has rights. It disappeared because um I changed it just now. So I think if you, I'm gonna <laughs> test. <laughs> Yahoo! I don't know if that's big enough though. That text looks awfully small. Boobs in my mouth? Boobs in my mouth? There. There. Yay! Boobs in my mouth. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Oh, no. 
How do I go into uh, interact? Yes. Who's there? Ah, Darcy sent you. I don't know who, what voice he is. Here you go. You're 800. So you got a name, Bob Joe. I'll send it to you Monday morning. Check your inventory then. It'll have a purple booklet. That's your ID. Now go away. Okay. I know, Fumim. None of us is boobs. Mila has a side boob. Sort of. I mean, she's still flat. Flat as a pancake. <laughs> side boob. I have literally no boobs. That's okay. I'm fine with that. Who? Who's talking about me? Finished day. Look at this water bowl I bought that no one else bought. But I sold an old newspaper and a plastic trophy. Yay! Sleep. <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna tell Mila you said this. <laughs> Side of a cardboard box. One of us has to have boobas, right? I think, um, I'm, I'm sure <laughs> she will eat you. Manana does. Yeah. Prismaria's resident booba. What? This guy was heckling me yesterday, too. Also, for the record, I freaking have a job. I was literally working the job all of yesterday. You know what this guy looks like? He looks like Rick from Rick and Morty. <laughs> Let's go work. Yahoo! I love capitalism. Wahoo! This is mine! No, it's mine! Who's this? Jesus? Oh my god, it's a real Jesus. Jesus wouldn't walk past the kid and just... <laughs> What the fuck, Jesus? <laughs> I'm also gonna walk past to get <laughs> Where am I supposed to go? <laughs> oh shit. Stop. I'm already at the top. Oh my god. Jesus works for AVAC. Confirmed. Oh, there are stairs here. Oh my god, my nose is so sniffly. I need to just die. She's joined the Fixie Pension Scheme. When? Move to lower floor. Oh. Scented. Is this like Sensi? Is this an MLM? Yeah, I'm Bob. My name's Bob. Why is everyone talking about me? Oh, my babies. Today is the last day we can spend together. Oh, hi. Welcome to Scented. Which baby? I, I mean, which flower are you looking for? We have three flowers ready. Please try their scents as much as you want. She's Bomi. She's Bomi. His name is Horong. Bomi. Do you like her? Do you like her? Dora, Dora makes people very patient. The price is 50. I like her. I like her. Thank you. Thank you for my new child. I want a pension too. I pay I pay into Prismaria's pension every day. <laughs> Don't forget, you are my son. I'm the one true king. Sure, I'll come back some other day. Don't call Dora phallic. That's rude. Dora's just out here living her best life. This is the Association of Victims of Adverse Crimes. <gasps> Avac, are you Mr. Bob Joe? Oh my, are you here to take him away? This must be a record. We've received re a report about you from your niece. I'm gonna fucking rat on Nari. <laughs> Oh, I'm obsessed with money! Oh my god, this is terrible. Oh 
Oh no. What's going on? It's an emergency, Darcy. Bob's in danger. Mr. Joe, your granddaughter reported your son for Avar's crime. Jesus, let me take care of this. Can we talk outside, Miss? Shang Gong. Yes, Miss Gong. I'm very bad at pronouncing these kinds of names. Give us money to prove you're frugal. <laughs> this game is fucked up. <laughs> bop, bada, beep. New bop, bop. It's the bop in town. You bop, bop. <laughs> What's going on? Have a restrained and greed-free day. Damage levels? <laughs> oh! Oh my god, you mean of the items. I, th <laughs> I thought you meant my, like, I was gonna get, like, HP. You should check for yourself by using a tool. Tutorial! Customers sometimes lie. It means you have to check each card carefully they show you. Scrutinize an item. Use the tools in the manual. Insert cards. From the manual, pull... whatever this is. Out cards and insert them into the card slot. If you are wrong, customers mostly turn it down. Click the damage assessor and move it onto the bag. Korene. Here are the two essential tools. Damage assessor measures damage level, material magnifier, it magnifies temperature. Temperature? Texture? Wait, what does that say? <laughs> Shit, I can't read! Customers lie, it's true. It's so true. What are you waiting for? Sorry, I was so, I was disassociating. 3.30 by, oh. Oh, uh, I only have 114. But I think I'm supposed to do this, huh? It's not really perfect, right? In perfect condition. And let's move on to its material. Click the material magnifier and move it onto the bag. Ooh, bumpy. Okay, you see its material up close, but you can't tell what exactly it is for now. That's when you need this manual. Appraisal manual. The manual complements your knowledge and expertise. Use keyboard shortcuts to navigate efficiently. This is getting really weird. <laughs> Go to the material list in the manual and find out which material looks closest to what you saw in the magnifier. Drag the one you found out from the list to the slot. You'll be pulling out a card and putting it into the slot. It looked like... I don't know how to use this. <laughs> what? I guess this. Uh... I guess this. That says glass though. There's no way it's glass. For the brands for more. Oh, can I do this? No. It looks like leather. Wax. I can't accept brands yet. Bumpy. This? It can't be silver. This? It can't be stone either. That doesn't make any sense. Ah. Uh, base? Lord help me. <laughs> Fiber? 
cowhide. Cowhide, cowhide, cowhide. It's cowhide. Damn, I'm dumb as rocks. Um, slightly damaged, in perfect condition. I would say it's slightly damaged. Once a customer accepts a card, you can't undo it, which means you cannot remove or replace. Ooh, so once I say it is something, I can't go back. Uh huh. Okay. Reputational card to appraising skill of Darcy's. This card gives you more advantages as your appraising skill improves. Customers will begin to buy items appraised by us without any doubt or even paying more. Oh, so it's like it's like if I became Pawn Stars. People would just sell things to me because I'm on TV. You already mentioned the card, Wittiness of Darcy's, right? Oh, I'm an old man. The two cards you and I told you about are called reputational cards here. Tutorial reputational cards. These three indicate our store's reputation from three different views. These are special because they improve themselves along with you. The better you get, the more effective each card will be, driving the bargain to your advantage or encouraging customers to buy. Each card shows its detailed effects. <clears throat> you can check the effects of the progressions of each card here. Okay. There's one last reputational card that's not mentioned yet. Oop! I skipped it. <laughs> For now, focus on improving. Okay, I'm gonna do... I'm gonna try one more day of buying and selling. And then I think... I'll end the stream. But it was a good test stream. I found out my chat wasn't working. So that, <laughs> that was cool. You have a chance to make a choice, but the amount of fines is ridiculous, and most people can't afford to pay it. Avec wants nothing but to make more fixies, so try not to give them an excuse. Who are fixies? <laughs> I don't understand the lore! I'm not gonna forgive <laughs> Yeah, it's fixed now. I'm happy it's fixed. Well, it's sort of fixed. I still need to, like, mess with the dimensions of it, I guess. But for now, it's fixed. We always blame the parents. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I should leave now. Wish you good luck. See ya, Darcy. Yay! Oh, so this is the plant, I think. It doesn't look that phallic. I'd like to buy the blooper doll over there. How much is it? It's 22 vanas. Well, the price is fine, but come to think of it, I'm bad off now. <laughs> what? I'll buy it right away if it's 21. Okay. Oh, I guess they can just press accept. Oh, okay. Enjoy. Enjoy your bluebird of happiness. <laughs> Sugi? <laughs> It was my birthday present. Can you please tell me how much this is worth? <gasps> Blooper! I'm just gonna be thinking of Sumi this whole thing. This whole time. Okay. So if I look here. Fairly damaged. That sounds about right. Do I need to like look at the texture of a newspaper? <laughs> it is. It is indeed paper. It is indeed paper. I would like to offer you, good sir, 15. So 
easy. So easy. It's just this easy to make money. Should I put it at more? I tried putting the bluebird at like one more than usual, but the guy was like, I'll only pay this much. But I'm wondering if like, if I, hmm. Like what would happen if I put it at 30? Let's try. YOLO. Hello. Um, hi. Um, could you buy this off me? Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> it's so cute. I love it. Fairly damaged seems okay. It says it's made out of canvas. Maybe this one. Cotton. <gasps> it's like the same like thing, but it's cotton. Yeah, she, she made she made an honest mistake because the, it it didn't change anything. That was an honest mistake. I will buy your doll, and you know much how much I'll offer you. It's worth way more than ten. It's so cute, but I gotta make money. How much are we talking? Um, how about four? Is fourteen going too high? I think I paid too much. But it's so cute. I don't mind. Let's go sell the college girl. Yay. Uh, you can go for 15. Go to a nice home. Wait, no, I I I I I bought this for 15. It's appraised at 20. So I'll just put that at 20. Yeah. Wow. What's this? Oh, it's a bracelet. Silver, huh? Hmm. This is like fairly damaged. It's damaged fairly. Mm. Yeah, okay. I'm nice. I'm, I'm so nice. Shut up, you! I'm Jesus, Bob. <laughs> Sorry, I'll figure out if it's silver. Hmm. Yeah, that looks like silver. I think it is silver. Tell you what, sir. I'll offer sixty-five. I'll offer you 70. Jesus, Bob. Wait, what are you talking to me about? Did you eat up money little by little? I think it's time to get a loan. Okay, we'll get a loan. First, I gotta put this for sale. Yeehaw! 100. You should put this here. On the upper right corner, if you're too proud to get alone, my dumpster dive. <laughs> I'm, I'm not below dumpster diving. Can I get a loan, please? Oh, would you like to buy them? Thank you for buying my very used socks. I appreciate it, sir. How do I get another loan? It's you, Nari! How could you report me? Just like he says. I was so close to getting dragged away, just like he says. Fuming, some people's, um, some people really like used socks in like a really, uh, you know. You know, kind of way. You know, you know. This is a pretty good painting. You may be a 
bitch, but that's a pretty good painting. Yeah, this is cool. What? Really? This never happened since my power got turned on. At least you have an eye for a painting. I do. I can't paint at all, but I do have an eye for a painting. Can I sell your painting? Appraise 385. I need money, so I'll just uh, do that. <laughs> Give me money! I'm looking for a silver bracelet with no decoration and in a good condition. Uh, I have a... Show me something with minor damage, please. She's asking for a recommendation. In this case, find if the item that meets her requirements is in the inventory. It's not in good condition, though! Will she get mad if I if I recommend it? Let's find out. Wait, how do I? Uh, oh, right. Okay. You want this? <gasps> how much is it? Um, this is. This is, a, this is, um, 120. Oh, no! Come back! Oh, shit! Oh, no! Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. She's gonna... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Will you buy it from me? It's only a hundred. How much did I buy this for? Bought it for 70. Oh man. How about 80? No, I gotta go 85. No! 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 I press the wrong button! No! 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 Oh, I'm gonna be poor! I'm gonna be so poor! I'm sorry! <laughs> <laughs> in the flesh <laughs> oh what's going on I was too busy crying over my mistake of pressing accept instead of offer can you buy the painting instead <laughs> just like what I expected. This place always looks like Junoko Sing Sing. I don't know what that means. Ooh, a butterfly. Let's see what its condition is. That would mean it's slightly damaged. This looks like wood. Yeah, Bob Ross about to show up Nari for real. Uh, this? Wooden? Yeah, wooden. I don't have enough money for you, lady. <laughs> How did you say I could get a loan? would like to uh Yes, yes, give me give me a hot give me a hot fucking second lady. Um 
How'd they say I could get a loan? Oh no, I would love a loan. I would love to buy this lady's butterfly instead of offering her a terrible price. Hugh, how do I get a loan? He said to click this button, but I'm already... Oh man, okay. Uh, listen, lady. How about 60? <laughs> Yeah, I know you don't like- I don't like what I offered either. Oh man, I really like this butterfly lady, but I- I can't. I just can't. I'm sorry. Buy my water bowl! Thank you! Thank you! I hope your cat enjoys it, unless you're using it for personal use. In that case, enjoy, please. What is that new version of... Small-sized LED notice board? Oh, it's so cheap. Valueless. I wouldn't call it valueless. I would say like fairly damaged. I don't know if I should have done that. <laughs> um, but that makes the appraisal go up, right? Plastic. Yeah, it's this plastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ja, how about I give you 18? You wanted nine for it before. You know what? I'll accept 25. I'll accept 25. I'm I'm a very Thank you. Yes, thank you. Come back again. These. Okay. Oh, actually, I can, like, uh, get rid of these. Here we go. Uh, praise 36. 40. Hee 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 hee. I like to buy the annoying bluebird poster over there. How much is it? It's only 30 vanas. What do you mean? How about 24? Because that's what it's appraised at. Deadass almost... Oh, I can't counter offer? I bought it at 15. I'll accept. I need money. I wasn't sure I was going to accept it either. I'm just looking out for myself. I'm very... Very selfish. Even though these people don't want me to be. At the end of the day, it will rain this evening. We'd also like to inform you that the rain today is not fixed rain, but just rain. Umbrellas are... No umbrellas are allowed. Why are no umbrellas allowed? Is it fixed rain? No, no, relax. This is just ordinary rain. Hmm... Oh, I didn't mean to go... Oh, can I buy stuff? On vacation. Undergoing remodeling. Under maintenance. Hmm. Oh, I think I can buy, like, clothes and stuff down here, too. But I probably have to wait. How do I go to the upper floor? Yeah. Why can't we just use umbrella? It's not fixering anyway. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Let's get out of here. One, two. Mm, bottom. Cause I'm a. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I need to stop. 
This isn't how you talk on Twitch. This isn't how you talk on Twitch. Yay, finished day. Okay. And with that, I'm going to end the stream. Thank you to everyone who joined me in this first playthrough of No Umbrellas Allowed. We, 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 we sold some shit. We bought some shit. We learned some very confusing lore. Everybody hates me. 